Tom, we had reports of this yesterday. Now they're confirmed. This is, you know, a key first meeting taking place under the Biden administration. How is this likely to play out? Absolutely. So you're going to have U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, as you say, and Jake Sullivan, the national security adviser, meeting with their Chinese counterparts. So Yang Jiechi, who is the head when it comes to foreign affairs within the CPC, the Chinese Communist Party, and Wang Yi, of course, the foreign minister, in Alaska next week. And as you say, it's the first in-person high-level meeting between Chinese and U.S. officials. There was a phone call between Joe Biden, President Biden, and President Xi back on February the 10th. But this is the first in-person high-level meeting. And it comes, by the way, after Secretary of State Antony Blinken will have just wrapped up a visit to South Korea and Japan with his defense secretary, where they will be trying to rebuild those alliances with U.S. allies, which, of course, is part of the Biden approach on trying to check some of China's, as they would describe it, more nefarious behavior. It's an opportunity, of course, for both sides to try to if not reset the relationship, then at least try and find some areas of common ground, whilst also, no doubt, addressing their mutual concerns. So far, neither country has offered any material changes in terms of their policy stances to address any of the concerns on either side. They have, though. The Chinese have suggested that climate change, the global economy and COVID and the pandemic could be areas of cooperation. The U.S. have suggested that climate change is something they're looking at as well. So maybe there will be an opening, and that is certainly... that. Uh, officials uh, and, of course, investors will be looking at very closely indeed.